On the eve of day five, there's always the clash of the leaders, a match like no other. Fortunately, this is much more than a tournament, but above all things, it's a week-long competition and only the best have access to the greatest reward, the finals. The series began with the girls under 16. The first contenders were Spaniards. Atletico de Madrid had the fame and the supporters, but not a chance against the strongest squad of this year's tournament. Sevilla won 3-0. Organización, todos los partidos bien, bastante competitivos, equipos bastante fuertes y la verdad que, que bien. Un poco hemos descansado poco en el hotel, no hemos descansado mucho, han dormido poco, pero las chicas son muy grandes. This is also the second final with Spanish teams only. On one side, Atlético de Madrid, one of the most frequent clubs and a regular champion of this trophy. On the other side, Español Barcelona a team who beat the Portuguese club 3-0 in the road to the final. The sky was blue, but there seemed to be a dark shadow upon Atletico. Again, they lost 3-0, overwhelmed by a clearly superior team. De todos los torneos que jugamos en toda temporada, este es el mejor sin duda, por todo, por organización, por por grandeza, por la cantidad de equipos, por las facilidades que nos lo ponen y por el nivel de los equipos. The first boys title in dispute, under 11, will face Riddim from England to Yokohama Marinos, Japan. Riddim defeated Olympique Lyonnais and Belenenses to reach the final, and the Japanese did the same with Sporting Portugal and Deportivo La Coruña. The next victors were also English-speaking. Next Generation USA suffered a goal from Portuguese San Juanes but they were committed enough to score twice and conquer the trophy. Tremendous experience for the boys, delighted for them. I thought they showed, you know, when, when you come to finals and you've got 10 year old boys, they, they sometimes get nervous, but I thought they showed great character to come from behind 1-0 at half time. I um, thought they showed great character and quality in the second half to come back and win the game, but it's not about winning games, it's about developing players and it's atmospheres like the Iber Cup, like they, they felt today that they're going to develop players for the future. On the other side of the stadium, local Belenenses are fighting for the title against Liepaya, an athletic and well-organized team from Latvia. Sporting underniners overpowered the Spaniards with four goals, zero answers. Equipa difícil, mas mas viemos para este jogo confiantes, confiantes pelo pelo trabalho que fizemos ao longo do ano. Foram mais de 100 100 treinos, dois campeonatos disputados, 17 torneios só neste mês. Fizemos nove, uh, fomos a todas as finais, conquistamos conquistamos oito. Estávamos perfeitamente confiantes que da qualidade dos miúdos e da qualidade do processo que nós fazemos ao longo do ano. The last champion of day five was also from Lisbon. Belenenses defeated the Latvian under 12s 3-1. Estas equipas do, do Norte da Europa têm fama por ser assim e deram-nos muitas dificuldades, foi possivelmente a equipa mais forte que apanhámos, mas com, com o trabalho destes miúdos que tiveram toda a época muito bem e hoje fechamos aqui a época num torneio fantástico, uh, conseguimos atingir a vitória que era o mais importante. Our last daily report, day 6, will show the pending finals, the grown-up ones, and the awards given to champions, runners-up and participants.